G'day, welcome to Godless Dragon. How you doing? So I'm going to talk to you guys today a little bit about my thoughts on creationism and intelligent design and why I think, controversially, it should be taught at school. So first of all, I was thinking to myself, well, does this belong on my atheist channel or on my science channel? And I thought, hmm, ¿por qué no los dos? Y eso no es porque de la advertencia, puedo hablar español con fluidez, más o menos. Yeah, I'm just showing off right now. Yeah, I speak Spanish, by the way, because ugh, I'm just amazing. <laughs> um, yeah, that's a joke. The reason why I think creationism and intelligent design should be taught at school is pretty nuanced, but these are my main reasons. First of all, we learnt about pre-Darwinian hypotheses on the diversity of life. So we learned about Lamarck. Lamarck had the idea that if an animal used a trait, the trait would get stronger and stronger and therefore it would be passed down onto the child. Initially that sounds pretty smart, but if you think about it, if the parent of the child had an injury, then that would have been sent, um, put down through the child as well. But we see, of course, that children do not inherit their parents' injuries. So we're looking back on him and go, oh, you're an idiot. But if you think about it, it was pretty smart. He wasn't right. His hypothesis was not correct, but he didn't have that information that Darwin came up with. And I, I'm going to support him on this. I think he, he was a smart guy, just got his information um, incorrect, which is what science is about. But we learnt that he was wrong because we were given the information that he was wrong. However, with not teaching intelligent design, we don't have an opportunity to refute their arguments. And all of the arguments that they have put out to say evolution can't explain this have been explained by evolution. If you don't give kids this information, they're more likely to go out into the big wide, wide world and get told that evolutionists can't just explain blah, blah, blah. And they go, oh, oh, that makes sense. And they start to believe in intelligent design or creationism or whatever you want to call it. And that's dangerous. That is really, really dangerous because right now there seems to be a lot of anti-science, anti-intellectualism happening in the world right now. And the more people disagree with the most fundamental information that is found in biology, which is evolution, the more people are more likely to ignore other scientific endeavors such as climate change. Teaching creationism and intelligent design in schools gives teachers an opportunity to ref refute the most common arguments against evolution by using science. Because the teachers have an opportunity to catch those gotcha questions, that will also help stop the doubting of evolution. Doubting evolution, as I said, is a stepping stone towards anti-intellectualism and anti-science. This also gives teachers an opportunity to foster independent and critical thinking. Unfortunately, our education system does give kids the information, but not how to process that information in a skeptical or critical thinking way. So teaching intelligent design is a really great way to encourage people to become a critical thinker, to become a skeptical thinker, and to teach kids in a safe way how to become more scientifically literate. Also, I want to do a bit of a shout out to Alfred Russell Wallace. So not many people know about him, but he was so instrumental in Darwin's work. In fact, the theory of evolution and natural selection should actually be Wallace Darwinism, not just Darwinism. So he independently came up with the idea of natural selection and he was corresponding with Darwin and his correspondence was basically what pushed Darwin into writing his book. So he was instrumental to history and to naturalism and that sort of, and that area of science and nobody knows about him. So shout outs to you, my man. So that's my reasoning. If you want to listen to my ranting about why I think evolution is so controversial amongst religious people, you can look at my video up here. And also if you want to watch the first of my series to rebut intelligent designs. I'm only going to address three or four points per video because nobody wants to listen to me talk for 45 minutes. So 
if you want to do that, it starts up here. So thank you very much for listening to my video and don't forget, don't give yourself the raw prawn.